I mean, this could have easily been prevented. Investigators tell Canaan miraculously all three are in stable condition in hospital. A stark reminder on this long holiday weekend and the OPP slow down and move over campaign. Over the weekend, ladies and gentlemen, in Connecticut, we had a Tesla crash on autopilot as stated by the driver. Now, this burns my buttons because why are we trying to say it's Tesla's fault, number one? And number two, of thousands of accidents that happen with cars every single day. We want to make a report on the Tesla. Is that because we have so many gasoline drivers out there hating because they see this front coming on the movement? Well, we're going to dive into this video, see the report, and break this thing down as I am a Tesla owner. I'm going to try to help you guys discern what really happened. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to follow me on all my social media links. There is a link for a Tesla group I am involved with that does YouTube created material to help you guys learn more about the electric car movement. This is definitely a video to help you learn because no matter how you shape this up, this is not something you can blame on Tesla or the car itself. Let's take a look at the news clip and then we'll come back and follow up. They say self-driving cars are the future, but there have been some speed bumps on the way there. And the latest is this weekend in Connecticut. A driver had his Tesla in autopilot mode, but he crashed and police were right there because they're the ones who got hit. This morning, the automotive supergiant Tesla and its autopilot mode under fire once again for the company's self-driving feature. Police tell the Hartford Current this 2018 Tesla Model 3 was in autopilot mode driving down Interstate 95 in Norwalk, Connecticut when the driver checked on his dog in the back seat, the car slamming into the rear of a police cruiser parked on the side of the highway. It's not designed for you to look into the back of your car and check on your dog or your child or just read a text. You have to keep your hands on the wheel. This isn't the first time Tesla's autopilot feature allegedly failed. Last year, a driver of a Tesla died in a highway crash. That car also reportedly in the self-driving mode when the vehicle slammed into a highway barrier. It's not self-driving. It's not a robot car. Uh, we're not there quite yet. We've reached out to Tesla for comment, but they have not responded. In past instances, Tesla has said autopilot mode is not a self-driving system. It's an advanced driver assistance system that enhances safety and convenience behind the wheel. Now, even though the car was in autopilot mode, this driver is now charged with reckless driving and reckless endangerment. It's a reminder that these cars help you drive, but they don't do all the driving for you. Ladies and gentlemen, as a Tesla owner, I think my question to this particular person who said he put the car on autopilot to check on the doll, which is no excuse for taking your eyes off the road in the first place, does he really know the difference between fully self-driving and autopilot? One could make an argument that autopilot is cruise control on steroids. Because as a Tesla driver, when you put the car on full self-driving mode, not just the autopilot. You can buy a Tesla with autopilot and it not come with self-driving mode. But when you put the car in autopilot, every few seconds you're gonna get this blue light that comes on that if you don't touch that wheel, it is gonna make you take the wheel. It's gonna give you this flashing red light. You have to take over control and keep your hands on the wheel. I'm wondering if this guy has enough knowledge as a Tesla owner to know the difference. Because if you just put the car in autopilot mode, it's not going to self-drive. The steering wheel is not going to control it for you. And I'm wondering if he knows the difference. This is not something you can attempt to blame on the car or Tesla and its technology. This is full driver error. And even if it was in fully self-driving mode, you're not supposed to be back there messing around with your kid, with your dog. I don't care how precious they are. This is no different if you fly an airplane. Some of you people know because my audience tends to be very smart. An airplane can self-drive itself. But if the airplane is self-driving and the passenger is asleep at the, I mean, the captain is asleep at the wheel and the plane crashes, whose fault is that? Is it the airplane's fault? Is it the airline's fault? Hell no, it's the fault of the captain of the airplane because you should have had enough gumption to stay alert, 
Know when the plane is doing something wrong and correct it. That's your job. No different from this guy in this Tesla. Now, I hope that Tesla looks into this, makes a statement, and just comes out and said it was driver error. Because as you saw in the report, they have a hard time getting up with Tesla. And in all honesty, what does Tesla need to say in this regard? Because this was full driver error, no matter how you shake it up. There are so many people out there who are hating on this technology, who are just hating on Tesla in general because they don't like the electric car movement, that these type of stories become a lightning rod to support their misinformed narrative. So I want you guys to leave me your comments. How do you feel about this story? Am I getting it wrong? Do I seem like a fanboy? Um, I'm just trying to give you the reasonable facts as a Tesla owner. But leave me your comments. Let's further this discussion. But ladies and gentlemen, this particular situation, stop blaming it on Tesla or the car. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe. Go get yourself a life gain. If you're into buying YouTuber merch, check out my shop at shoplifegains.com. Follow me on all my social media links. And until that next sexy as hell Tesla video, I'll see you.